What's going on guys? Here is a video of uh, me taking some pups from an aloe vera plant. I didn't notice this until after watching this, but there is a Texas spiny lizard on the edge of the room there. So basically what you want to do here is you want to lift the whole plant up basically uh, so that you have access to those roots because the little pups are still attached to the roots of the mother plant and you want to grab it at the very bottom as far as you can get to the mother plant so you at least get some roots from it usually you're only going to get something like this I think I'm about to show it like one little tiny root and that should be good enough for the plant to be fine on its own here goes our lizard friend so here's a close-up view to show you um, they come in little clusters like that so you get as close as you can to the mother plant and you gently pull it out so that you get some roots like that bear with me I'm new at shooting videos You want to get all the way down to the bottom there and gently pull it out. There's a little bit of a root there, but enough to where the plant should survive. I thought maybe I could do this one, but I think I chunked that one. And then I broke that piece off. Not on purpose. This is a big old baby pup right here. I really need to hire a cameraman. Looks like I accidentally broke part of it in half. Oh yeah, this turned out to be two clumps, two different baby pups. That's a good one right there. That whole thing is one plant attached to its mama. Oh, scratch that. There's two plants. I don't know why I showed this, but uh, after pulling those pups out, I wanted to add a little bit of soil. Um, to restabilize this plant because it was all leaning to the side and it had lost some of its roots. Here is the Texas spiny lizard again. These things get up to about a foot tall. This one's just a baby. But they really keep the bugs in check. I love them. my dog. His name's Wrigley. It's my other dog. His name's Rocco. This is my first time uh, transplanting aloe veras like this. So I'm not exactly sure how deep to plant them. They barely have any roots so in order for them to stand upright I have the dirt um, stacked up pretty high on the plant. I don't think it should hurt anything. But if you're curious in the future, I can keep you posted on how they're doing. By the way, this soil is Kellogg's potting soil, or potting mix. Don't ever buy it. It's the worst stuff I've ever used. 
It's a couple bucks, a couple bucks cheaper than Miracle Grow, and there's a reason why. It doesn't drain. It doesn't really hold water that well, which seems counterintuitive, but it doesn't drain and it doesn't hold water well. Crazy, I know. That water bottle fall off the side of the table. Everything is pissing me off today. It's also about a hundred degrees outside, in case you were wondering. See that big chunk? You don't ever have to worry about that in uh, Miracle Grow. It's nice and soft and fluffy. I don't think there's any nutrients in this soil either, to be honest. But the aloes are they're pretty tough. They don't really need much. August 19th, by the way, and we're in Texas, so we don't get freezes until sometimes January. And I'm trying to get these guys to get some good roots established before uh, winter comes. They can handle the cold, but when they're babies, sometimes not. I'm trying to prevent losing any of these guys. There they all are potted up. That one plant gave me nine baby plants. And then each one of these plants will probably end up giving me nine baby plants. I'm gonna be the aloe vera king. So I'm giving these things, I'm soaking them in water here. Aloe vera do not like wet feet or sitting in standing water or water in general to be honest. I'm going to soak them once here because they're uh, you know young babies so they can get a good drink and I'm not kidding uh, I won't water again probably I mean unless the soil just gets absolutely bone dry I'll water them, but they they do not like being wet. This is a one-time thing for these for these guys because it's because they're so young, and I just transplanted them. If I could do one thing different, I would have waited until morning to do this, so that it has all day in the sun. Now it's going to sit out at night time, and I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. I just wish I did it in the morning. I thought I would include closing down the patio because some people like that kind of stuff.
to the people that like that kind of stuff, you're welcome. Nice clean patio now. And Wrigley's head. And there's the final product. Nine aloe vera babies. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.